and I'll give you more close to reality. You think that if you're given antiretroviral drugs, you can live longer for 30 years? You're fooling yourselves. Hospitals are reporting now yuppies, young male adults, in their last stages of AIDS. They're dying. And you know why? It's not only about antiretroviral drugs. If you get opportunistic infections, and you know that tuberculosis is a problem in the country, those two should not mix, but they do. And if they do, then we'll have a catastrophe in our hands. The window of opportunity is closing on us. The Department of Health has taken both steps since 2007 so that we can provide you that information. So while uh, I was listening to the speakers and listening to the audience this afternoon, I came to think, are these people really serious? When we come our Lotus ceremony later this afternoon or near evening, when we unfold the pill, and if those who pass away, the persons living with HIV, are watching over us, anong sasabihin nila sa atin? Ano ang sasabihin nila sa atin? Have we failed them? Nagkulang ba tayo? Nagkamali ba tayo? Wala na nung panahon. That's why. Hindi na kami nagpapagumpik-gumpik. Inaakusahan kami na kahit yung aming AIDS registry is a form of stigmatization and discrimination because with this proportions of HIV infected people among menstrual sex with men, homosexual, bisexuals. Say it in our face, we'll accept it. But, you do not get back on us and say that we did not tell you so. Okay. We have made this message, this statement over and over again. You know what to do. Let's not fool ourselves about the ABCs. There is no safe sex. There is no safer sex. Even condoms cannot eliminate the risk of HIV. It only reduces the risk of HIV. And we have a new generation of young people here trying to be the best advocates for HIV. Where have all the others gone? Where have all the others who have this experience to turn around the HIV AIDS epidemic in the country? Time is running out. The prevalence is not just over 1%. We have estimated, for example, by 2015, there will be more than 65,000 HIV AIDS cases. Right now, we are spending 80 million pesos for antiretroviral drugs. Okay. And we don't want to send the wrong message that if we give we a antiretroviral drugs, it's all right to take risk behaviors. It's all right to have be tested and positive because government will take care of you. Okay. We are fooling ourselves. We can invite you to the Lazarus Hospital, RITM, and you can see the deplorable state. I pity the patients, my heart cried out for them. We don't know if we can accommodate you. We may find no place for you, and that's more discrimination and stigma. And the only way to turn this around, okay, it's not about guidelines, it's not about manuals, it's not about networking, it should begin with us. We should believe that we can reverse HIV AIDS. We should believe that government, civil society, persons living with HIV AIDS, with their guidance, they're here with us today, that we can make a difference. Let's move. Let's touch lives. This is real. Good afternoon. Maraming salamat.